At 11 tonight, excitement is growing for next month's Monterey Pop Festival, 50 years after the first in 1967. More tonight from Action News reporter Lauren Seaver. Tonight was an unofficial kickoff, a film screening to get fans excited for next month's festival. <laughs> Hundreds packed the Golden State Theater, excited to get a glimpse of the sights and sounds of the original Monterey Pop Festival from 1967. Witnessing performers like Janis Joplin dominate the Monterey County Fairgrounds stage. Tom O'Neill is a famous photographer who got his start from his photos taken at the Monterey Pop Festival. It was just something special that I had never experienced in a, long, in a big group of people. And you get that many people feeling good, it's infectious. O'Neill says he remembers seeing the Mamas and the Papas 10 feet in front of him and freezing when he heard Otis Redding for the first time. But Jimi Hendrix, he says, is the performer who absolutely took his breath away. When he starts, he hits one chord and then his guitar just erupts. He sounded like a tornado coming onto the stage. I didn't have the wherewithal right away to pick up the camera. I was more in shock. I hadn't seen anything like that. The June Festival launched a movement. It became a template for similar events, including Woodstock. Coachella, today, one of the most popular music festivals in the world, was inspired directly from Monterey Pop. Now, 50 years later, the festival is viewed as iconic in the music industry. And on June 16th through the 18th, the fairgrounds will once again be home to a pop festival. Tonight's film and next month's festival are just a few of the Summer of Love themed events happening over the next few months. The Monterey firefighters are also going to be wearing T-shirts. Uh, Alvarado will have banners going up. And starting in June, the Monterey Museum of Art will have photographs taken of the original pop festival. Reporting in Monterey, I'm Lauren Seaver, KSBW, Action News 8.